Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this section we're going to talk about how to repel house cats from your bird feeders. Now Dexter here doesn't really mess with any bird feeders because we don't have any bird feeders on our property. Because I believe that we shouldn't feed the wildlife, we shouldn't encourage them to come in and eat food from us because I've got so much food on my property. I've got all kinds of flower plants that have seeds and trees and all types of natural ways that birds can eat. And by feeding your birds, I'm finding that you're not teaching them to teach their young how to go out in the wild and feed themselves. So first off, when you're using a bee bird feeder, it's great if you live in the middle of the city. But if you live in the country, there should be enough food for your birds so you wouldn't need it. So here's where I have a water fountain. And Dexter loves to drink the water too, and so do the birds. I could use this as a bird feeder as well. And it would work because here Dexter can drink the water, but he's not going to mess with the birds that are going to be eating the seed out of the bird seed holder. The only dilemma would be that the bird seed would fall into the water and you would have to clean out the water periodically. But that would work. And my other philosophy is you can't really stop the animals from getting into the bird feeder if they have access. So make sure that your bird feeder is in a place where the the cats have no access to it. So lift it up higher, put it on a long pole. But make sure when you have your bird feeders, uh, make sure that they're tall enough so that the cats won't come near it. Sometimes by sprinkling a bunch of cayenne pepper or cinnamon or red hot chili pepper around the base of the bird feeder, the cats do not like the smell at all and it hurts the little paws. So they're not gonna go further into messing with the bird feeder. So that's another easy trick. But in the end, I found that you can't really stop animals from doing what they're going to do and you can't punish them or hurt them from what they're doing. But you can set boundaries, whether it's with spices or with water and by putting the bird seed in a place that they can't reach. Birds, house cats, and people can get along really well together. They just need to set boundaries for each other.